Well, there's a beautiful organic farm just down the road in Galt, and you can see parts of it as well as get some tips from the owner via YouTube. Lori Wallace is live with more. I know you love you some greenery. <laughs> I really do. And I will say I've gotten really good at taking care of houseplants, not so much an outdoor garden. But yeah. that's what Jag and Shavi are here for because this place is amazing. And this is the first year, you guys, that they've opened up to the public for a U-Pick farm. It's certified organic. And what makes it unique is that they're open for a really long time. Typically with uh, U-Pick farms, there's a short window for you to get out there and, and pick. But they're going to be open uh, up until the fall. A lot of the stuff that they have uh, will keep uh, growing all the way until until October. So, so great to have you guys with us this morning. I'm a little distracted because there's a really cute dog here and a very cute baby. So this is Jolene and then I have Jag and Shavi uh, to talk about what they've been doing out here. You guys have put a lot of work into this place. Yes, it was a lot of work. So basically we are 20 acre certified organic Yupik farm and we have over 100 varieties of fruits and vegetables and other stories. So we're gonna have a lot of varieties of vegetables. Currently we are growing squash, tomatoes, cucumbers, zucchini. Um, however, in the fruit category, we have raspberries, blackberries, loganberries, marionberry, boysenberries, strawberries, blueberries. So this is our first year opening the Yupik farm. And we are just, you know, so excited to have, you know, all these varieties for, for people around us and involved community into growing organic produce and encourage organic gardening as well. Yeah, and if you're watching right now, Daisy Creek Farms, you can find them on Facebook. It is by appointment only, so you need to make an appointment to come out. But there's so much space out here to roam and, and really have a good time, not only picking, but learning about the varieties. Because, Jag, that's kind of your specialty. You've been doing this for a long time. Yes, yeah, so basically I started gardening in Fresno about 12 years ago. And uh, at first I wasn't too successful in growing organic produce, but then I got a hang of it and it was all, you know, <laughs> I left everything else in the dust from there. I opened a YouTube channel and I started teaching gardening once I got all the techniques perfected. And then, you know, my wife and I thought, why don't we take it to a next level and open a U-Pick farm? So we basically purchased this property about a little less than two years ago and we have planted over 100 varieties of fruit and we have raspberries from Poland. We have yellow raspberries from Maryland. So we have lots of different varieties that you don't find in a, in a grocery store. Yeah, I would say he's definitely got it figured out. Okay, so yellow raspberries, Raspberries. You heard it mentioned. Which way do we go here, Jag? We're going to go down this aisle here to take a look. So if you're watching and you're thinking you want to do this, this farm is actually going to be open for you pick all the way until the fall, right? Yes, all the way till the fall. So we start producing uh, fruit in April and we'll be producing fruit all the way until October to November. Okay, so these yellow raspberries. Yes. What do the kids say? They hit a little different? <laughs> is that what they say? They are. I tasted them already. They are golden raspberries. Okay. So. Uh -huh. Golden so, raspberries. So yes. I can... Okay, he said. <laughs> look at the size of these ones as well. Okay, he says, look at the size and also inspect for any friends before you decide <laughs> to eat it right off. <laughs> okay, uh huh. Okay, so these are different. Yes. So good. And you have a lot of these out here. Yes, we do. We have basically over rows 150 feet long, and we have basically so 20 rows of raspberries, blackberries, boysenberries, marionberries, loganberries, so. Okay, now I wanna know, when I come out here, do I have the, the tour guide? Are you gonna walk people around and help them out? Because people yes. like me need a little help. Yes, so when people come here this year, I'm personally taking them around, showing them, you know, what we have, what's available to pick, and how to tell what's ripe as well, because that's the key mm -hmm. to actually having the, the, the ripe produce to, to eat, because that's the sweetest produce. So, I will give them a little bit, a little bit of tour, and then you can go and pick. I love it, Jag, and I'm so jealous that they walk out their front door, come out here, and pick everything they need for a smoothie, and they're done, just like that. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to hang around here. Coming up next hour, they have a ton of veggies over there, so we're going to get some tips on growing tomatoes because Ooh. this guy knows what he's doing. We often make mistakes when we try to do that. He's going to tell us what we need to do and what not to do. Plus, we're going to do a little picking over there, too, guys. Back Ooh, over to you. I like it. I love the yellow raspberries. So cool. Thanks, Lori.